Hey everybody, I have a family dollar haul to show you. I only got a few items. Um, uh, in our town, we have three Dollar Trees and a family dollar store. We do not have a Dollar General. I always thought that um, the family dollar was the Dollar General store that people were posting on YouTube. I didn't realize that they were two different stores. And But anyways, now I know a family dollar is completely different from Dollar General. So anyways, um, I went in and um, so this particular store is half Dollar Tree, half Family Dollar. So the left side of the store is Dollar Tree and the right side is Dollar General, uh, is uh, Family Dollar. So um, I went and I picked up quite a few items for the Dollar Tree side, but when I got up to the counter, they were ringing up like things you would see in another store for $1.25 were ringing up two fifty, dollars And I was like, no, 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 I can't, I can't afford that. Can you remove it from the um, order? So, uh, because that was double. Then I saw a great price, I mean, a great deal on um, shampoos. I was like, oh, this is awesome for $1.25. So I bought five bottles or I put five bottles in the cart. And when they scanned them, they rang up over $4 each. And I told her, no, I, that's, no, I can't afford that. Can you remove it? I said, this is from the Dollar Tree side. And um, this was, and I said, there's a whole display. And she's like, oh, no, okay, well, so they took, she took it off. And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I hope this isn't what the prices are going to eventually go up to at this particular store. So um, I ended up not getting anything from the Dollar Tree side because um, the things I picked out were not scanning at 125 so, um, everything here in my video is family dollar. Okay, so they had these peach halves, one pound, eight ounce, and these were only one dollar a can. I could not believe that. At our grocery store, I can't find these anymore at the Dollar Tree. And um, the grocery store sells these for about three fifty a can. And I love make, making a peach cobbler. When my kids were little... Um, I would always make homemade peach cobbler and they loved it. Or if we had a family gathering, I would make peach cobbler as a dessert. And it was always a hit. But um, I haven't been able to make it since I moved into this apartment because the price at the grocery store is about $7 for two cans. And that's what it takes me to make my cobbler. I use two cans. And I was like, I can't afford that. I was used to paying two bucks. And I was like, to go from two bucks to seven bucks, I can't afford it. But now the family dollar had these at a dollar a can. So I thought that is awesome. And I got six cans. So that was a wonderful deal. So um, I got that. Then also at family dollar, I, oh, I got this big old baking soda. Look at that, four pounds. And that was $3. So, yeah, I could understand this is going to be more than three bucks. And um, they do have high price items on Family Dollar side. But um, that was awesome, I thought. I got to get that. Okay, I dropped my salt. So, they also had salt there. I believe this was uh, 95 cents. And um, this is one pound, 10 ounce. And it was either a dollar or 95. I can't remember. So, I got that. Now I'm doing my video in my pantry because these cans were heavy to get in here. And I've got that uh, twisted ankle right now. So that's why I'm doing my haul in my pantry. Okay, so then another item they had, Alba macaroni. This is a one pound and this was only $1. So I thought, okay, I got to get that. Because I ended up having to put so much stuff back and I was like, I'm leaving with nothing. Okay, and then they had this tender asparagus on the Dollar General side. This was only 65 cents for the can. And only had one can left or else I would have bought more. It's a 12 ounce can. Okay, so I got that. And I do love fresh asparagus. I like cooking it um, fresh. I've never actually had canned asparagus before, but I thought this would be good to add to my menu my monthly food menu of what i eat and um just to my general um pantry in my home okay so another item i got and i normally really don't buy 
I never buy this type of napkin, but um, I usually buy the rolls. Now, when my kids were little, I would only um, they I would have them use uh, fabric napkins, cloth napkins, and we, that's all we used because I had a washer and dryer at that time. You know, I was in a regular home washer dryer, so you just threw your napkins um, in the washer and dryer, and it was so much cheaper in the long run. So that we always use cloth napkins with my kids growing up. Well, now that I'm alone and I have to go to the laundromat to wash my things, um, I try to limit what I take to wash as much as possible because it's so expensive. So I thought, well, a dollar is um, for 150, you know, you really can't beat that. And 300 napkins, this will probably last me, I don't know, at least a few months, I would think maybe longer. So, um, what I do is I know a lot of people meal planned for the month and they say, okay, I'm going to make all these meals and they go to the grocery store and, um, that's what they buy for all their meals for the month. Well, I used to do that also when my kids were little and we were a family of four. I always did that, um, to make sure, you know, I had everything I needed for the month for cooking. And, uh, well, a lot of times, um, I didn't do cooking. My other half did the cooking cause he cooked really good. Okay. So, um, and we'd go get, you know, the, the food for the month. Well, right now, uh, I can't afford to meal plan and say, okay, I'm gonna go buy all these groceries for the month. What I do is I have to plan my meals around what I can get, what bargains I can find that month. So I, I have so much to spend on food and supplies. And so I'll um, like allow myself $40 at Dollar Tree or $50 at Grocery Outlet. And then I go to those stores and I see how much food and supplies I can get for that month. So um, you'll see a lot of this stuff like random things. And it's like, what is she going to make with that? Like that doesn't make sense. But when you're only one person and you on a very limited budget, I just buy whatever I can find, what the best deals I can find. And so like, I'll be making peach cobbler. I'll be make. I can also have peaches with, um, cottage cheese, um, or just eat it by itself. I can have, this will make two meals for me. This asparagus. I'm sure I've never had canned asparagus, but I'm thinking this would be at least two meals for me. Um, I usually eat it fresh. This one pound is going to last me quite a while. I can make uh, pasta with meat. I can make macaroni salad with mayo. I can make it uh, with just cheese, like a macaroni and cheese. There's so many options I can do with this. So what I do is I only buy every month what I can fi find on sale. And many items will carry on to the next month. So like maybe something I bought this month I don't eat. And I find a great deal on something next month. And it makes an awesome meal. Then I'll cook it up then or put it with that then. But um, this is how I shop. I shop just on what I can afford and that's it. And I know a lot of my hauls don't make any sense. So that's probably to most people. They're probably like, what? what is she gonna eat? Well, I use things from the previous month to make a meal or what I might find next month will be, you know, make a great meal. So this is how I shop because this is all I can afford and I'm doing the best I can. And, um, I'm not suffering. I'm not, um, starving. I'm not hungry. I can, I can make meals out of this. I can make meals pretty much out of anything now. So this is my family dollar haul and I spent $13 and 79 cents. Okay, everybody. Thank you for watching.